All right, I'm gonna re be removing the power inverter on this Chevy hybrid truck and also replacing the power steering control module. Um, what I needed to do first is go to the back seat here where the high voltage battery is and there is a service disconnect plug that's gonna have to be um, unplugged. And basically this just sits in here. Sits in here like this. Um, what you're gonna have to do is pull up on this and then pull straight out. And what that's, that's gonna do is disconnect power to the power inverter up top. Uh, and also there's just this plastic plate that just clips in over the top. You can just pull that up off after you pull, push the seat up. So we've got the high voltage battery all disabled. Um, then you're gonna wanna test across the terminals, make sure you have no voltage and it actually is disabled, but it usually is. Um, then we went ahead and disabled the 12 volt battery system here. Um, disconnects positive and negative cable. Pretty much, um, as you can see here, I already have the power inverter tip forward. I disconnected the three phase wiring that goes down to the um, generator slash motor inside the transmission. We got a three phase harness here and another three phase harness here. Um, I just had to take the three 10 millimeter bolts out and then two 10 millimeter bolts here and those cables pop right out. Um, and basically uh, this inverter kind of sits in here like a battery. It clips underneath these clips on these sides and then there's just two hold downs. A hold down on this side and a hold down here that holds this down. And on this one I didn't actually have to completely disconnect the inverter itself because we're not replacing that. What we're replacing on this is a power steering control module. Um, they lost power steering in this and it was setting some codes. We diagnosed it down to this, this uh, power steering control module. So. Basically, we had to get this inverter up out of the way so we could take these three 10 millimeter bolts out, one, two, three there. And, um, and then once we get this unplugged, we'll be able to remove it. This is a new power steering control unit over here. And we did most of all our testing for the diagnostic right of this plug here. But um, that's what we're doing on this vehicle here. Once we get this installed, um, we'll re reconnect the high voltage battery and the um, auxiliary 12 volt battery and we're also we're going to have to reprogram the um, power steering control module the factory GM software I may possibly do a quick video on that as well and I'll leave a link below if I do um, also there is a safety switch on this hybrid battery cover itself that you'll need a um, tamper torx bit to get out there but thanks for watching guys this was, video was helpful in any way. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic if you haven't already.